this is what perseverance sounds like. We're gonna start with this idea. To me, but I don't want this to trip me up. I refuse for this to take me out. And create this. To me, but I don't want it to trip me up. I refuse for this to take me out. Hey everyone, Matt here. So as a producer, I love recreating different feelings musically and telling stories alongside the lyrics of the artist. And that's what we're going to do in this track and in this video. This is a Christian pop song that I produced for one of my clients, Ruthie Larby. And the story that she wanted to tell in this song was about persevering through difficult seasons in life. She wanted to capture the feeling of perseverance and encouragement and we wanted people to envision this marathon runner just pushing forward in their race whenever they heard the song. So we'll look at how we made that happen through the production of the song and break that down in this video. And before we start, if you wanna see more videos like this, then do me a favor and hit the subscribe button, the bell button for notifications, share, the thumbs up, all that good stuff. I really appreciate it. I would be lying if I said I didn't have questions for you It's difficult to comprehend Everything you allow and do You have the perfect design For my life, I wanna trust you But I can't figure it out Oh, how will you come through? Awesome. So we start off this first verse with a very open sort of feeling, um, but with a swirling sort of sound as well, um, a swirling texture, basically to recreate the feeling of questions just swirling around inside um, someone's head. And to help create that swirling sort of sound and texture, uh, we really relied heavily on uh, the synth that I created, this particular patch and I'll uh, solo that for you to hear it. And that really helped, again, just create that swirling, questions whirling around inside your head sort of uh, feeling in the verse. For my life, I wanna trust you can't figure it out oh how will you come through i don't want it to trip me up i refuse for this to take me out cause living for you god is what my life's all about your awesome so the pre-chorus here um we're entering this this point of the song where we want to continue uh, that theme of questions whirling around, but also a point where we are grounding ourselves and encouraging ourselves um, to persevere uh, despite those difficulties. Um, and so we're layering in a much more of a rhythm section here, particularly in the drums and the bass um, to create that stronger grounded uh, sort of sound. So I'll just solo those here. So just helping strengthen things further and um, helping the song continue to build and progress. But at the same time, we want to keep those questions uh, uh, whirling around. Uh, so we keep our synth patch here, but We've introduced some different vocal uh, chops and vocal effects um, to add these extra voices that are sort of swirling around. Um, and because, you know, modern pop song, you're probably going to have some sort of vocal chop um, presence in there. So I'll just play those.
Cool. So we continue building the pre-chorus a little further. Um, we brighten it up even further by layering in um, some different uh, like twinkly bell synths on top. Um, so when I think encouraging, I think um, not only a, um, a grounded, strong sound, but also a, a brighter sound. Um, so we've layered in these synths here. And also some piano um, to help add some uh, some strength to the chord changes. Awesome. So really big, strong, bright sounding chorus um, or drop in this song. Um, and I really wanted that as a, a big contrast to the darker verses um, because uh, I wanted just to create this um, uplifting and encouraging sort of feeling and moment in these chorus sections. So we've got a busier and much more exciting uh, drum part happening here. Lots of um, toms and percussion layers on top of the uh, uh, the groove that we had started in the pre-chorus, uh, and as well a much fuller bass line. Again, just to add some even more strength um, to the uh, to the rhythm section. Um, the synths play a big part in creating this um, encouraging and uplifting sort of sound here as well. Um, there's a bunch of layers of really bright arpeggiated and side-chained um, synths that have a lot of forward uh, movement to them. And finally, we've turned that uh, the vocal chops into this uh, vocal loop um, that is a little less um, a little less like fluttery voices in our heads and more of a uh, melodic type of uh, vocal loop here. So going into the second verse here, we have this brief little interlude moment. Um, and I'm just going to talk about that really briefly because we're coming out of this big, encouraging, uplifting, exciting point of the song where we're just amped up. We want to keep moving forward uh, and we're being transported back into this um, darker sort of season of lots of questions um, swirling around uh, as we enter the second verse. So we needed an interlude section to basically transport us there back into that feeling. And I wanted to create some tension as well uh, in this moment because uh, the seasons of questioning um, aren't always comfortable. And so I wanted to add a little bit of dissonance, uh, particularly in the synths here, um, by layering in this um, dissonant sort of string synth sound. So I'll solo that. Be in you. 
cool. So verse two, very similar sort of feeling to verse one, except um, we've layered in uh, this minimal sort of drum uh, beat going as well, just to keep the song progressing forward and not totally lose all the momentum that we've built up uh, in the song up to this point here. But I don't want it to trip me up. So this second pre-chorus here is uh, probably my favorite part of the song. This first, uh, I don't want this to trip me up part, uh, is like this defiant enough is enough moment in the song. And it's the moment uh, in the race, if we go back to that marathon runner, uh, it's the moment where the runner says, I've made it this far, I can't look away now, I've just got to keep pushing forward. Uh, and I wanted that vocal line uh, in particular to really stand out. Um, so I dropped out pretty much all the other um, uh, instruments, particularly in the drums, and just kept a, pretty much a pad underneath for the vocals. Uh, I added some vocal doubles as well and a deep uh, vocoder sort of part underneath the lead line just to really strengthen it. Uh, and help that uh, that line really stand out. Yeah. But I don't want it to trip me up. I refuse for this to take me out. Cause living for you, God, is what my life's all about. Your record shows repeatedly your ways are higher than mine. This is an opportunity. So we've got a couple key elements here in the second pre-chorus that um, help keep the momentum and encouragement to move forward. Um, and so we're layering in this eighth note driving hi-hat groove uh, in the drum section, uh, which adds a lot of um, forward push uh, in the rhythm section. And halfway through, we're also um, adding some more vocal presence, um, particularly with um, the harmonies as well, uh, just to continue that uh, that build towards the second chorus here. Your record shows repeatedly your ways are higher than mine. This is an opportunity for my faith to shine. Awesome. So um, again, another big chorus, big drop, similar to the first one, except now we're layering in a little bit more in the uh, drums and in the percussion. Um, we've got this wild um, 16th note tambourine part that's just going, going crazy here. So it just sounded really high energy to me and was a nice layer in the drums. Uh, we've also got a lot of fills happening um, in the drums as well, which also adds uh, some more excitement uh, in the rhythm section here. So uh, I didn't want to lose this encouraging, exciting feeling um, going into that bridge section there, uh, but I did want to change it up a little bit coming out of the chorus. So um, we've introduced a few different synth voices uh, in the bridge, um, which were, again, still very bright, um, high-energy synths, but 
uh, just a little bit of a different sort of uh, sound to what was happening in the uh, in the chorus. We've also got this new um, driving piano part in the bridge that, uh, to me, it sounds like something that um, a runner would run to, and it just is uh, adding a lot of forward movement uh, in the bridge. Awesome. So this final little interlude is like the reflective aha moment of the song. Uh, and it's the moment of realizing that um, having faith and, and, and uh, living that faith out in the midst of seasons of questioning and difficulty uh, is what can fuel that perseverance to push forward. And it's very open um, to create space for that reflection uh, and very similar sounding to the earlier interlude in the song that led into the second verse uh, except now we don't have that dissonant string uh, synth part anymore um, instead we do have this nice um, background vocal harmony part that's acting almost like a pad um, and it's creating this nice smooth um, build up and lead into this final uh, breakdown final chorus here. So this final breakdown chorus part um, is a cool combination of the declarative words of the pre-chorus being sung over top of the um, bright, exciting, um, empowering sort of sound of the chorus. And we've got a final layer um, of vocals being sung over top, um, sort of free gospel sort of sound. Um, and just that is adding a lot of final um, encouragement and final excitement um, in the vocals here as we come to the end of the song. This is an opportunity for my faith to shine. Thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you learned a little bit more about how you can really recreate certain feelings and tell stories musically through a production. I've put the link to the song um, in the description below, Shine by Ruthie Larby. Give it a listen if you want to listen through all the way uh, with no interruptions from me. And again, if you want to see more videos just like this, then be sure to subscribe and follow along for future videos. I'll see you on the next one.